Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to week two, day four of our at-home bodyweight program. It's Natalie Higby and Christian Placencia. And we thank you for joining us today. We have an awesome upper body workout for you. Today's skill work is going to be around landing. So some double leg, single leg landing and deceleration. Again, great for all ages. Mm -hmm. Let's get started with one of the most important parts of the day, our warm up. This is going to be partner style warm up, but if you don't have a partner, just work with one of us. Okay, so choose one of us to follow. If you have a ball, grab your basketball. If you don't, again, you can use any other object or your imagination for this. But while one works with the basketball, the other will be doing some challenging body weight movement. So Christian's going to start here in a low plank as I work the fingertips, okay, moving up and down. We'll go for 30 seconds. So let's start that time. Again, if you're in the low plank, as you can see, Christian's just on his elbows. He's squeezing his belly, squeezing his booty, breathing. And then if you've got this basketball, again, we're just going lightly with the fingertips back and forth, moving in front of our head here, in front of our eyes, just up and down. We've got 10 more seconds. Nice job. Good. Guys, also, if this is challenging, you can always go from your knees. Three, two, one. Good work. All right, now, Christian's going to go into a high plank. If you've got the basketball, we're going around the head right here. So we're kind of just getting the shoulders involved. I want you to see as you go around your head, if you can keep your eyes up, your neck nice and long. Good. Let's switch directions. And then as we're doing this, we're squeezing our glutes, squeezing our abs to get that core involved. So this full body warm up. Good. Again, guys, if it gets challenging, you can always go on your knees. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Okay, body weight here. We're going into reverse plank. Reverse plank. We are going to go around the belly. Ready? And let's go. So again, 30 seconds total. Breathe I'm really, in. really, really, really <laughs> focusing, guys, on pulling my belly button and pulling my lower back into the ground. Halfway, switch directions. And you can pick your pace on this one. Maybe we're going slow. Maybe we're going as fast as possible. If you need to, you can always bring your knees in as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. All right, now I'm going to take my right leg in front here. I'm going to just pass through the right leg. I'll switch directions at the halfway point. Body weight is going side plank on the elbow. Ready? And let's go. And just real quick too, Nat, for everyone who's at home, maybe the parents or the kids, if you're feeling a little tired, and this is challenging, I can put my knees down, pull my heels back, and I can just go for my knee instead of my foot. Beautiful, halfway, last 15 seconds, we switch directions here on these circles. Nice job. Good. We wanna just kinda of ease into the workout today, make this a little fun for us. Hold on to it for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, now I'm just switching up legs, Christian's gonna switch up sides, okay? Ready, going in three, Two, one, here we go, another 30 seconds. Getting my lower body a little more involved here, holding this low lunge. But I wanna see if I can keep my eyes up and my chest up as I work. Maybe challenge yourself to close your eyes if you're feeling risky. Awesome job, and halfway, switch it on up. Awesome work, Nat. And again, guys, you can always go from the knees. Nothing wrong here, okay? Make sure we're pressing the ground away with our hand and with our elbow. Awesome, last five. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Okay. Last one here for this partner style. I'm going figure eight. You guys with the body weight are going squat with the knee pulled to the chest. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. So again, I'm weaving in and out this figure eight motion at the halfway point. I will switch directions. Nice job, Christian. Good work. And again, I'm taking my time here. This is really going to challenge my balance on one leg. Halfway. Yep, exactly. Again, just finding different ways to get our body loose and prepped for our workout today. Nice job. Keep moving for five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Good awesome. job. Switch. Yep, now we're just going to switch it on up. Okay, if you want me to stay right there while yeah, you do perfect. it? Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with my fingertips here, okay? 30 seconds or a low plank with Natalie. Three, two, one, and here we go. In this low plank, I'm gonna make it really engaging, really 
challenging by pulling my elbows back to my toes, pulling my toes up towards my elbows, like I'm squeezing the floor together. Almost there, guys. Continue to breathe. Again, if you're with Nat, keep pushing the ground away. Last five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to go around the head. Natalie now is going to go on her hands into a high plank, okay? 15 seconds in one direction. Three, two, one, and here we go. Awesome work, Nat. Again, Natalie's breathing. She's driving her feet into the ground, pressing the ground away as much as she can. She can always go on her knees halfway through it. 15 seconds if you're with me. Go ahead and just switch up your direction. Awesome work, Natalie. Guys, at home, less than 10 seconds. Here we go. Five. Nice job. Four. Three. Two. One. And perfect, y'all. I'm going to go around the belly. Natalie's going to go ahead and go reverse plank, okay? Again, pulling her lower back into the ground. Three, two, one. You're with me. 15 seconds in one direction, and then we'll go 15 to the next. Again, oh, on this one, if I extend my limbs long, this is the hardest, right? So I can always bring my hands down by my side. I can bring a knee in. I can bring both knees in. Or I can switch back and forth between the two, depending on how challenging this feels. Exactly. Less than 10 seconds, guys. If you haven't already, make sure we switch up that direction. Three, two, one. Natalie's got a side plank. I got my right leg here out in front of me, okay? We're going to go same direction around our leg for 15 seconds. Three, two, one. And here we go. Nice job. And one way to make this even more challenging is to take your eyes around the room. Slowly looking all the way around, trying to trust yourself with your hand-eye coordination. We're going to go ahead now and switch up our direction halfway through. Awesome work, Nat. Again, always can go from the knees if you're with Natalie right now. Yep, nothing wrong with that, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. I'm going to go next leg, and that's going to go next side. Three, two, one. 15 seconds, y'all. <sighs> Looking around. I mean, if I'm even going with my partner, Natalie can use her off hand and just tell me, hey, follow my hand. And wherever her hand goes, I can track that halfway through. <sighs> that becomes way more challenging. Now we're getting a little bit more game-like, having to track and having to react to another stimulus. Three, two, one. One, awesome work. I got figure eights left. Natalie's got the squat to a knee pull, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Oh yeah, feeling a little more energized already, I like oh, yeah. it. Good job. Almost there guys, if you're with me here. Three, two, one, let's reverse that direction now. Reverse in that direction, there you go. Find your groove, find your rhythm, and then you can speed it on up, okay? Again, if you're going fast and challenging yourself, if you lose the ball, perfectly fine. Ooh, there it is. Three, two, one, and perfect. Awesome work. Now, I'm going to put the ball for down for now. All right, let's go down to the ground here. Let's go right foot in front, hands on the floor here. So we're in our extended mountain climber, trying to lock out that back leg. We'll take our right elbow down towards the ground just slightly, and then reach up towards the ceiling. Let's do that five times on each side. This is two. Yep, let's breathe with it. Three, two more. Awesome job. Last one. Nice work. Let's switch up sides. So, again, extended mountain climber. We've got the elbow pulling down towards the ceiling, and then we have this rotation in the same direction of, as, the, as that front knee up towards the ceiling. Beautiful job. A couple more. Nicely done. Beautiful. Now, let's take our hands overhead for some overhead shoulder circles. So let's go soften in the knees, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the belly, reaching those hands up towards the ceiling. Small circles right here. We're just going to go 10 circles in each direction. Awesome. Focusing on keeping those shoulders down away from your ears, squeezing your shoulder blades together here in the middle of your upper back. And Good. 10 each way there. Beautiful job. Let's finish with just 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Again, we have some upper body today, so we'll get those arms moving. Ready? Three, yep. two, one. Now, you can take your hands overhead. You can maybe take your arms across your body. Again, just getting that body moving, getting the heart rate up a little bit more before we move on. Nice job. 
Awesome job, everybody. Here we go. This is the last drill to warm up, so make sure you're taking this one seriously. We got a good one today. Woo, last 10. Good job, good job. Stay moving, y'all, for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Good stuff, Nat. Awesome work. Okay, guys, that was the warm up. Now we're going to get into our skill of the day, okay? And I always like to, to say, especially for the parents that are out there doing this or the coaches that are out there doing this with us, okay? It's not just for the athletes, but this is something that is very beneficial for everybody, every individual body. Because usually in the game, what we get hurt is not when we're sprinting or going at our fullest speed, but it's usually slowing down. It's usually how we land or how we land incorrectly, right? And so that's what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna to figure out how we should be landing and where we should be feeling this, right? Okay? So first thing that we have here is gonna be our double-legged landings. Me and Nat will do one as a demo. You try it out after you see us do it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with both feet about hip width apart, okay? Facing forward. And then when we land, our feet are going to be wider than hip width. So they're going to get a little bit wider at the bottom. Exactly. Just like Natalie did. Now, from here, when the hands come up, we go onto our toes. And then we come down into this landing position. Now, when we land here, I'm going to have Natalie do one. When she lands here, you can see her chest is not all the way facing up, right? Her chest is somewhat tilting and facing down towards the ground. We do this so that our hips can press back and we use our glutes instead of our knees, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do five here together with two legs, okay? We got our feet facing forward. We're gonna go ahead and just lift on up to our toes and back. Beautiful, four more times here. Toes, land, perfect. Three more times, guys. Toes, land, awesome. Two more here, here we go. Up, land, perfect. Last one, perfect. Now, we're gonna go single leg. Five on each leg. And again, we'll do one, then you try and get in with us, okay? So I'm still gonna be with two feet at the top, but then when I land, I'm gonna catch myself. And you can see, I almost fell off of balance a little bit. I'm gonna try to hold that end position as long as I can. Let's get five on one leg, okay? Two feet, one. Awesome, here we go. Two feet, awesome. I'm gonna show you from the side, same thing. Two feet. Yeah, this is my weaker leg, so I can already feel the challenge of trying to hold this end position. Last one. Awesome work. We'll get this next leg here now, okay? Great job, Nat. You too, thank you. Now, would you say on this one that the feet stay under your body a little bit more than on that double leg landing? Yep, exactly. Great job, Natalie. When we have two feet, you can keep going. When we have two feet, it's easier to be wider outside of our midline. But on this one, it might feel like it's a little bit closer to your middle line. Great job, Natalie. Great way to pick that up. Now we're going to one more round. That was one round. We'll do that same deal again. Two feet to begin with. Let's get five. Awesome. Maybe on these last four, I'm going to turn and catch. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a game there. Turn and catch. There you go. Same thing. Can you come to that same end position? Can we still feel it in the glutes and not our quads and our knees? Awesome. I'm going to go one more here. Awesome. Now we'll go one leg, okay? Let's get five. Up. Awesome. Up. Now, Nat's going to keep going here, okay? We're going to get five on each side. Now, pay very close attention, guys, that when Natalie's landing, she's not going lower into a squat, right? Right when she catches in her bottom athletic position, she's not going any lower. And that's the strength we want to build. Can we catch ourselves and not go any lower or not sway from side to side? That's the game, okay? Putting the activation in our glutes and not in our knees. Awesome job right there. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to get into the workout, guys. And today, we got every minute on the minute. Now, we've done this, what? Probably this is going to be the fourth time that we're going to be jumping into this so far, okay? Here's how we're going to do it. We got three movements. We're gonna go back to back to back. We're gonna to try to go as quick as we can between those three movements. Our goal between those three movements is to have about 40 seconds of work so that we have about 20 seconds of rest. If you're trying to really push yourself, maybe you have 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest, but each minute is a new round, okay? 
Now, let's do a practice round, and you guys can try these movements out with us. See if you're level one or level two, and then we can go from there, okay? Now, level one's a little bit easier, but again, we can always go back and forth between level one and level two. Now, the first thing that we have here is our high plank shoulder taps. Natalie's gonna show you level one, I'm gonna show you level two here, okay? For me, level two, I'm just gonna be on my toes. Natalie's gonna be there on her knees. We're gonna tap our opposite shoulder here, okay? Every time we tap, that's one rep, okay? Now, for my rookies, we're gonna get eight taps, so four on each side, okay? For my all-stars, we're gonna get 12. That's six on each side. And then, for my MVPs, anything above 16. So anything more than eight reps on each side, that's MVP level, that's next level stuff. Hopefully you guys are moving pretty fast, okay? Now, the second thing that we have here now is our quad press. Now, this is super challenging, but we know you guys are elite. That's why we threw it in there, right? Now, for Natalie, she's going to show you level one. She's going to go onto her backside, and she's going to go into a mobile tabletop, right? So what she's going to do here is her fingertips are facing the sides. Both of her feet are flat, and she's going to go ahead and just bring the hips up as high as she can before she comes back down, okay? And you can see here, guys, this is level one. If you are a rookie, you got four reps. If you're all-star, you got six. And if you're an MVP, you got 10. Now my level two, this is a lot more challenging. I got my knees under my hips, and I got my hands turned inside, almost to make like a diamond shape, okay? Right underneath my shoulders. Now, it's not about dropping your chest. See how my chest just dropped? We don't want that. We want to pull our knees apart, and I want to pull my belly button towards my hands before I press back up. Again, before I go down, knees apart, elbows wide. Yeah. Knees apart, elbows wide. So it's not a big press, right? It's not, it's not like a push-up. It's not a full range push-up. It's a very small press, but we're going to pull from our core so that our hips don't stay up or our chest doesn't stay up. Yeah, right? that's what I was trying to highlight was yeah. the fact that Christian's shoulders and hips pretty much stay at the same level here. Um, another thing we mm -hmm. see often when we're going through this movement is people who start to shift their weight really far back. So try to keep those shoulders over your wrists here or slightly in front of. Yep, great job, Matt. Great, great cue. Now the last thing we're gonna get into is a 45 degree push-up. Natalie's gonna show you here, okay, level one, and then I'll show you level two. Level one, she's just gonna go from her knees. Her knees are gonna go extra wide though to give you more room. Now in a 45 degree push-up, guys, whether you're doing it with Nat or me, the only thing that changes are your hands up and down. So during the push-up, one hand will be forward and the opposite hand will be a little bit lower, maybe right in line with your shoulder. From there, she's gonna do one push-up. As she comes up, she's gonna switch her hands. So again, it's just like your hands are on a sliding scale, right? And again, if you got four total push-ups here, okay, you're a rookie level, that's all right. Six, you're at the all-star, you're getting there. And then eight, anything above eight push-ups like that, right, is gonna be at our, our MVP level, okay? Let me show you one without though. So level one was with the knees. Level two, I'm gonna go onto my toes so there's no knees on the ground. Hopefully, you guys, you guys were moving with us just to get a feel, okay, am I level one or am I level two? Now, again, let's start up at the very, very top. We're gonna put the timer on, okay? First thing we have, high plank, shoulder taps. Sound good? And again, we got either eight, 12, or 16. Eight rookie, 12 all-star, 16 for my MVPs. Let's get it going, guys. In five, four, three, two, one, and let's get it. I'm just gonna go to the rookie level for the first couple rounds so that you guys know what movement's coming. Second one is our quad press. Natalie's gonna go into a mobile tabletop. You either got four, six, or 10 reps here, depending upon what level. Are you a rookie? Are you an all-star? Are you an MVP? After quad press, we got the 45 degree push-ups, guys. And again, here at the, at the 45, we got four at the rookie level. We have six at the all-star. And we have eight total reps here if we're working at the MVP. Awesome Ooh. work, Matt. Whew, that was really good right there. About 40 seconds. Right? That was about 40 yeah. seconds. That was perfect, okay? We got about less than 15 seconds of rest now before that next round, okay? Here we go, guys. 10 seconds. The first thing we have is our high plank. Remember, either 8, 12, or 16. 
five. I'm gonna go at the all-star level now, okay? Four, three, two, one. I gotta move quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, number eight, 12, or 16. And then quad press or mobile tabletop. Four, six, or 10. It all just depends what level you're at. And again, if you've done this with us before, you know each round can be different. Some rounds you might do an MVP. Some rounds you might do an all-star. I mean, there might even be some movements that you want to do at the rookie level just because it's your first time moving. So the quad press is challenging, right? So maybe we just do one or all the rounds at the smallest rep, yeah. so at the rookie level, just so we can learn it. Or if you're like, man, that feels easy. I could be at the all-star MVP. Then by all means, let's do it, okay? Whew, that was round two. Yes. Round three coming on up. Okay, guys, here we go here. In five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, 12, or 16. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Trying to go for my 18, toes 18, that 18. time. <laughs> now on the high plank shoulder taps too, if your feet are closer, that's gonna make it a little bit harder. The wider your feet are, the more stable your base is. Just a little tip for you. Hmm. Nice Woo. job, nice job. Here we go. Awesome work. We're about 35 seconds down, 25 seconds of rest before round four. Great job, Natalie. Nice job. We got 12 minutes, 12 rounds here today, guys. Make sure in between, we're shaking it out. We're letting our body recover before that next round, okay? 10 seconds. We got round number four coming up here. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. And here we go. Continue to breathe, everybody. If you're not breathing, it's not going to suit you well. I'm going to go with Natalie, and I'm going to do a round here at level one. My shoulders, my hips are feeling a little tight. So I'm gonna do, do my mobile table to help loosen that up a little bit. 20 seconds down, guys. 40 seconds to go. Here we go, stay tight. Even though this is an upper body day, we wanna keep sending tightness. We wanna keep feeling our quads. We wanna feel our whole body. When we can get to the level of making every drill a full body exercise, that's next level stuff. Mm -hmm. That's stuff that's gonna help you on the court, but more importantly, help everyone stay healthy and safe, okay? 10 seconds, guys, here we go. Round five, coming up. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Let's go, let's go, come on, y'all, keep it up. Five, two, maybe push yourself a little bit. If you've been staying pretty comfortable, maybe go to another level that you're gonna push yourself with. Two, Three, four, five. Good job. Six, come seven, on, come on. Let's stay moving. Do this round. Ten. Woo! Man, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna go on my knees on this last one. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Awesome job, Matt. Good work. Awesome work. That was round the five. The floor isn't the best for the knees. Yeah. But uh, it, it works, but it if you works. have a yoga mat or a pillow or blanket of some sort, that would be helpful as well. 100%, 100%. Great job, everybody. Less than 15 seconds left before round six. We're already coming up to the halfway mark. Great job, everybody. Here we go. Keep that positive mindset here the whole time. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. How stable can you stay even though your yep. hands are moving fast? Yep. Great point, Natalie. Even though we're moving fast on that one, guys, that's the only way we can get to that MVP level. We can't let our hips turn. We can't just let our whole body do an earthquake when we're on the ground. We've got to make sure, even in our push-up, that our hips and our shoulders, our whole spine move together. We don't want to just lead with the chest. We don't want to just lead with our hips. We want to incorporate our whole body. That's right. Good job. Finish strong. We're at 38, 39, Woo. that's 40, good, 20 awesome seconds work. to rest. Great job. That was round six. We got round seven coming, guys. Already past the halfway mark. Here we go, everyone. Great job, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds. Get yourself ready here on the ground. Whew. 
in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's stay two. moving. Attack each round just individually. Don't worry about the rounds to come. Don't worry about your last rounds. All you need to focus on is what you're doing right now in the moment. Make the best of each round one at a time. Great point, Natalie. That's a great point. Nice job. Let's get through it. Come on. Woo! Man, that's why I love having a partner here to work out with. If she wasn't here, I'd be taking a break right now. But because I got my partner <laughs> with me, or maybe you guys don't have a partner at home, yes. but guess what? You got us. Exactly. And we're working and we're burning with you. 20 seconds of rest before round eight. Great job, everybody. <laughs> Terrible counter. Working out and counting at the same time. Two things that should never go together. <laughs> Whew, here we go, guys. Five seconds here. Whew. In four, three, two, one. And let's work, guys. We got round eight. Here we go. Almost at the end, guys. These are, should be getting maybe a little bit more difficult. Maybe a little bit easier. Who knows? Everyone is so different. Everybody is so different. What should matter, though, is our mindset, how we attack every drill. That's got to stay the same. Here we go. With control, with composure, staying in the moment. It's that attention Ooh. to detail, that focus, that push. Good job, Matt. Good job. That's, um, round, this is round nine right here. What's it called? Discipline. Oh, yes. Discipline. There it is. Discipline throughout the whole, whole routine, everybody. We got about 15 seconds left. 9, 10, 11, 12. Four more to go. Four more rounds. I don't know why I always think if we're at round nine, we got three more to go, but that's not the case. That's why I always got to count it out. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eleven, twelve. Nice job. Five, keep it going, six, keep it going. Here we go. Come on. Woo. Quick transition. Stay moving. How's that breath? Tune in to how you're breathing. Make sure that you're staying in control of your breath, Ooh. control of your body. Yes, nice job. Woo. Awesome work, everybody. 25 seconds to that next round. Woo. Round 10 coming. Three more rounds to go, everybody. Again, shake that off. Make sure our body's feeling good. Make sure our mind and our body's connected right now. If we're starting to get fatigued and we're seeing lights, man, pause this, take a break, take a round off maybe, okay? We want to stay composed, stay mindful of what we're doing. Five, we go. four, three, three two, two, one, one. Come on. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Good job, now. Let's get it. Two. Good work. Three, Come on, y'all. We're almost to the end, but again, all that matters right now is the round that we're on. It's the only thing we can yep. control right now. Yep. And what we eat for dinner. <laughs> That's what I'm in control of, hopefully. Woo! Here we go, guys. Keep breathing. Six. Woo! Great job. Awesome work, Nat. Round 11 right here. Uh-oh. This is our last few rounds. Right? Woo! Yeah. You know what that means. You know what that means. If you've been with us, you know how we finish up our last two rounds. If not, don't worry. This is going to round 11. If you know, then you know how we're going to finish on up, okay? 10 more seconds, everybody. Round 11 right here. Nothing changes. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Two, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Then I'm going to get to my quad press. Here we go. One. stay in control of my body. Woo, that was four. Guess what? We just finished up round 11. We're going to go right into round 12. Let's We're not going to take a break. If you can go with us, don't take a break. Here we go, guys. Right into it. Don't worry about the time. Let's keep going. Keep breathing. This is our last round. What do we got left, guys? Find what you got left in your tank. Here we go. Three, 
Can you stay in it? Can you stay composed and finish strong when you're tired? That's the challenge. Last one. Woo. Here we go. Finish strong. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, here we go. Oh, goodness gracious. Here we go, guys. If we're moving, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get done there. Awesome work, Madeline. Excellent job. Guys, we're cheering you home the whole way. Awesome job. Way to finish up strong. If you're just finishing up, take a second to breathe. Grab some water, okay? Before we finish up for the day, one of the most important things is to down regulate. You can hear, my heart rate's up. I'm breathing heavily. Natalie's now starting to calm her breath down. That is most important before we finish. So Nat, you got us with a decompression. Yes, we've got a couple stretches here, okay? Now, we did the upper body. I know my chest and shoulders are feeling it. So what I want to do is come down into a child's pose position or reach my hands overhead, push my hips back, and then I'm going to press into the ground as I round out my spine. So again, it's like one big wave as I pull forward into this up dog. Now let's pause here, push the floor away, drive those shoulders down to the ground, let's breathe. That's one inhale. Maybe shift right to left. That's two, one more time. That's three. I'm going to tuck my chin round myself out, push all the way back to my child's pose. And then from here, I'm going to come onto my belly, hands out to the side. I'm gonna look at my right fingers, bend my right knee, come up and over. Now this time, I want you guys to reach up towards the ceiling here. Let's pause and breathe. Three inhales, three slow exhales. Maybe even allowing this top arm to fall, maybe relaxing your head down. Whatever feels good for your body. One more breath. Last time here, we'll look at the left fingers, bend the left leg, come up and over. Let's reach up. We'll breathe. Again, maybe staying here or allowing this top arm to fall. Whatever feels good for your body. Finish out those last two breaths. We'll come back to the center. Slowly push ourselves on up. Again, if you're next to your partner, your family, give them a little high five, fist bump, good job. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Before you go, we have to remind you that our book of the month is called Mind Gym. We highly encourage you to check it out, read it, and share your thoughts with one another. And our journal prompt for the day, one of my favorite parts. I know Christian loves this too. Something to think about. Well, today, I wanted you to think about having an open mind and always being willing to learn something. So can you think about today, can you think about maybe this week even, and something that you have learned? So what is something that you've learned today or this week that can make you better for tomorrow and the weeks to come? Go ahead and jot that down, share it out. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.